Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, not in my normal spot as you can see here, currently here in my hotel room here in Las Vegas for CES. I will be here all week, really excited and looking forward to all of the cool tech that we're going to be seeing this week here at CES. But that actually started for me today. Huge thanks and shout out to TCL for having, you know, kind of like a little special meeting for some of us creators showing us some new devices that will be coming out soon, which I can't yet share with you guys here in this video, but that will be coming out soon. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned for that. But in this video, I am actually allowed to show you a foldable phone that TCL was uh, working on. And I got to be honest, when we first walked into the room, I kind of got a quick peep at it in the background and at first I thought it was a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. You know I thought maybe someone came in with the phone and just left it there on the table but no it turned out to be a folding phone that TCL was working on and I say was working on because they actually pushed the brakes on it and decided not to release it because there's still some things that they plan on working out to get the price of that foldable phone down even lower because you know we do have the other foldable phones that are out on the market right now but you know the price is really up there and there's a lot of people that don't want to pay that much for a folding phone but they still want that foldable experience so what TCL is trying to do is make a foldable device but bring the price down for people that don't want to pay you know close to a thousand bucks or over a thousand bucks to get that experience they're trying to make it more affordable for people like you for people like me and i think it's really awesome but this phone right here even though it's not going to be released i actually found it really cool because it actually gets me excited to see what tcl is working on and to see what they are capable of when it comes to folding devices and i'm sure when they start working on the next one that will hopefully be released for sure it's going to be way better than what I got to take a look at today. And the one I got to take a look at today was actually really, really nice. As you can see here, loving the overall color of it, the overall build of it. Yes, it does have that Galaxy Z Flip look to it, the Galaxy Z Flip feel, but there's also that display in the front that doesn't look the same as the Galaxy Z Flip 3. So you will be able to tell the difference holding them side by side. But on that little screen in the front, you can actually use that to do things like, you know, take a picture. You can actually interact with that screen, open up the camera, take a selfie if you want, or open some other apps that will work in that little display, but it will give you some other information as well. And then opening it up to the inside. Now check this out. I don't know if I was tripping out or not because I have gotten to use the regular Galaxy Z Flip and the Galaxy Z Flip 3 as well. And I noticed the crease on the inside of this TCL folding foam. It was not as noticeable with both look and feel as what we have with the Galaxy Z Flip, it actually felt a lot better, at least in my opinion. When I was using it for the short time that I did, that's the first thing I noticed when opening it up. It's like, whoa, okay, that crease isn't as noticeable as what we have on the Galaxy devices, and you can't feel it as much either. So I think TCL did a really good job with that, and I can only assume that it's going to get better, you know, on the next foldable devices that they do plan on uh, making and hopefully releasing. But overall, I mean, just for something that they were working on and planning on releasing, but didn't after all, I thought it was an overall really cool looking phone, looking really, really nice. I really like that color that they had on that specific device right there, but it had that fingerprint sensor on the power button. Of course, you have the selfie camera inside as well with that punch hole cut out, but pretty much getting an all screen experience once you do open it. And then the software is just that TCL experience that you get with other TCL devices when going in the app drawer or scrolling from home screen to home screen. But I just quickly wanted to share this device with you because like I said, for me, myself personally, it gets me excited at what's to come from TCL when it comes to foldable devices. But what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comment sections below. What's something that you think TCL should add to a device like this or maybe do better when it comes to the competition? What are you excited to see from TCL and what are your hopes? Let me know down in the comment sections below. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. I will see you on the next one. This is Josh Quinones. Peace out.